Well, here we are, week four of Easter, and my little midweek devotion comes to you from the Black Hills of South Dakota, about eight, ten miles from the Wyoming border, and out doing a little turkey hunting with my brother. But I thought I'd pause and just share with you some thoughts, again, kind of building on what we did last week with Luke 12, where Jesus is commending that we uh, look at the lilies. God clothes them uh, perfectly well, and we are clothed even more beautifully than they. That God's in charge was kind of the message. Against this backdrop, I would have you turn to Psalm 8. If you want a weekly devotion, kind of something to be reading at home, Psalm 8 is a wonderful psalm to ponder. Psalm 8 is so poetic as it lifts up the enormity and the beauty of creation. God has created the heavens and the earth. And then the psalmist pauses right in the middle of that and says, Who am I? Who am I that God would be mindful of me and yet God has created me to live just below the angels? You've got to read Psalm 8. It's just a fantastic short psalm that will give you a little something here in the middle of all this craziness. So uh, with that, a closing prayer out here in the forest. Dear God, thank you for creation. Thank you for life itself. And thank you for the role that we play in all of this. Help us to be reverent with the land and the sky and the waters and reverent with ourselves. We're part of this. You've created us to exist just below the angels. And that is a marvelous gift to us. Thank you, dear God, for the fourth week of Easter. Amen.